The Airbus A320 family accidents and incidents are counting 91 aviation occurrences, including 34 hull loss accidents with a total of 1,326 fatalities as of October 2015. As of August 27, 2015, the A320 had been involved in 12 fatal accidents since 1988. Accidents and incidents equals A319 equals, on July 1, 2002, America West Airlines Flight 556, using an Airbus A319, was ordered back to the terminal at Miami International Airport after the pilots were found to be intoxicated. Both were given prison sentences. The passengers continued their flight to Phoenix with other airlines. On January 19, 2003, Northwest Airlines Airbus A319-114 and registered as N313NB, was damaged by maintenance personnel at LaGuardia Airport being taxied from a maintenance area to the gate, striking the gate and a 757, collapsing the nose gear. The Airbus was damaged beyond repair and written off. On May 10, 2005, a Northwest Airlines DC-9 collided on the ground with a Northwest Airlines Airbus A319 that had just pushed back from the gate at Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport. The DC-9 suffered a malfunction in one of its hydraulic systems in flight. After landing, the captain shut down one of the plane's engines, inadvertently disabling the remaining working hydraulic system. Six people were injured and both planes were substantially damaged. On August 12, 2010, Azerbaijan Airlines Flight 75, using an Airbus A319-111 and registered as 4KAZ04, suffered a collapse of the undercarriage when the aircraft departed the runway on landing at Atata 1 quarter AK International Airport, Istanbul, Turkey. The aircraft was substantially damaged but all 127 passengers and crew escaped unharmed. On September 24, 2010, Wind Jet Flight 243, using an Airbus A319-132 and registered as EIEDM, landed short of the runway and broke an undercarriage when the aircraft attempted landing at Palermo Airport, Italy. Preliminary reports name wind shear as one possible cause for the accident. The aircraft was seriously damaged and was written off but stopped in the grass out of the runway. About 20 passengers were injured. On May 24, 2013, British Airways Flight 762, using an Airbus A319-131 and registered as GEUOE, returned to London Heathrow Airport after fan cowl doors detached from both engines shortly after takeoff. During the approach a fire broke out in the right engine and persisted after the engine was shut down. The aircraft landed safely with no injuries to the 80 people on board. A preliminary accident report revealed that the cowlings had been left unlatched following overnight maintenance. The separation of the doors caused airframe damage and the right-hand engine fire resulted from a ruptured fuel pipe. Equals A320 equals. 1980s, on June 26, 1988, Air France Flight 296, using a recently introduced and just months old Airbus A320-111, crashed into the tops of trees beyond the runway on a demonstration flight at Mulhouse Hesham Airport, France. Three passengers were killed. 1990s, on February 14, 1990, Indian Airlines Flight 605, using an Airbus A320-231, carrying 146 people, crashed on its final approach to the HAL Airport, Bangalore. 88 passengers and four crew members were killed. On January 20, 1992, Air Inter Flight 148, using an Airbus A320-111, crashed into a high ridge near Mount St. Odal in the Vosges Mountains while on final approach to Strasbourg at the end of a scheduled flight from Lyon. This accident resulted in the deaths of 87 of the aircraft's occupants. On September 14, 1993, Lufthansa Flight 2904, using an Airbus A320-211, coming from Frankfurt to Maine with 70 people, crashed into an earth wall at the end of the runway at Warsaw. A fire started in the left-wing area and penetrated into the passenger cabin. The training captain and a passenger died. 
On March 22, 1998, Philippine Airlines Flight 137, using an Airbus A320-214, crashed and overran the runway of Bacolod City Domestic Airport, RPVB, in Bacolod, Philippines, plowing through homes near it. None of the passengers or crew died, but many were injured and three on the ground were killed. 2000s, on August 23, 2000, Gulf Air Flight 072, using an Airbus A320-212, crashed into the Persian Gulf on a go-around during a night visual approach to Bahrain Airport. All 143 passengers and crew on board lost their lives. On February 7, 2001, Iberia Flight 1456, using an Airbus A320-214, carrying 143 people, crashed on landing at Bilbao Airport in heavy low-level turbulence and gusts. All occupants survived. Aircraft had to be scrapped. On September 21, 2005, JetBlue Airways Flight 292, using an Airbus A320-232, executed an emergency landing at Los Angeles International Airport after the nose wheels jammed in an abnormal position. No one was injured. On May 3, 2006, Armavia Flight 967, using an Airbus A320-211, crashed into the Black Sea while attempting to conduct a go-around following its first approach to Sochi Airport, Russia. All 113 passengers and crew on board lost their lives. The accident was a pilot error-slash-controlled flight into terrain accident. On July 17, 2007, TAM Airlines Flight 3054, using an Airbus A320-233, was not able to stop while landing at Congonhas International Airport in Sao Paulo, Paulo, Brazil. One engine thrust reverser had been deactivated. As of 2009, the accident was caused by pilot error and by bad weather. All 187 passengers and crew died with 12 fatalities on the ground, the ground fatalities mainly from the TAM headquarters and the petrol station at the end of the runway, totaling 199 people. This crash is the deadliest accident involving the A320. On May 30, 2008, TACA Flight 390, using an Airbus A320-233, from San Salvador, overran the runway after landing at Tonconta and International Airport in Tegucigalpa, Honduras, in bad weather conditions. There were five fatalities plus two on the ground. On November 27, 2008, XL Airways Germany Flight 888T, a test flight of an A320-232 stalled in a low-speed test and control could not be regained, causing the aircraft to crash into the sea off the southern French coast. The aircraft was on lease by XL Airways and scheduled to be returned to Air New Zealand. All seven people aboard died. On January 15, 2009, U.S. Airways Flight 1549, using an Airbus A320-214, en route from New York City LaGuardia Airport to Charlotte, North Carolina, ditched into the Hudson River seven minutes after takeoff. The plane was piloted by Chesley B. Sully Sullenberger. All 150 passengers and five crew survived, with only five serious injuries. The accident was due to a collision with a flock of Canada geese, which disabled both engines. The entire airframe, including the wings, has been preserved at the Carolinas Aviation Museum and is now on display. This was also the first ditching of an A320. 2010s, on August 29, 2011, Gulf Air Flight 270, using an Airbus A320-214, from Bahrain to Cochin carrying 143 people, skidded off the runway on landing due to pilot error. The weather was poor with heavy rain and strong winds. The aircraft was badly damaged and seven passengers were injured. Some people were reported to have jumped from an emergency exit when the evacuation slide failed to deploy. On September 20, 2012, Syrian Air Flight 501, using an Airbus A320-232, collided in mid-air with a military helicopter. The A320 lost half its vertical stabilizer but landed safely. The helicopter crashed, killing three of its occupants. 
On December 28, 2014, Indonesia AirAsia Flight 8501, using an Airbus A320 216, from Wanda International Airport, Surai Batachanji International Airport, Singapore, crashed into the Java Sea between the islands of Balitung and Bonio, killing all 162 on board. The cause is under investigation. However, preliminary reports suggested that the plane was stalling while encountering a thunderstorm. The captain left his seat in order to pull the circuit breaker. Investigators have stated that the condition of the FAC on the flight was persistent enough for the captain to do such actions. On March 24, 2015, German Wings Flight 9525, using an Airbus A320-211, flying from Barcelona to Darwin quarter Seldorf crashed near Dine in the southern French Alps, killing all 150 on board. The investigation is in its very early stages and only some of the black box data has been recovered, but there is some evidence that, when the pilot left the cockpit, he was locked out by the co-pilot, and was not let back in, even when he began trying to break down the door. This has led investigators and the French prosecutor to examine the possibility that the co-pilot may have deliberately crashed the aircraft. On March 29, 2015, Air Canada Flight 624, using an Airbus A320-211, flying from Toronto to Halifax carrying 138 people crash-landed short of the runway hitting a power pole and an antenna array, the aircraft regained flight momentum before slamming down onto the end of the runway at Halifax Stanfield International Airport where the landing gear collapsed. The weather was poor with heavy snow and low visibility. The aircraft was badly damaged and 23 people suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Wind shear during final approach might have been the cause. On April 14, 2015, Asiana Airlines Flight 162, an Airbus A320-232 with 82 people on board, lost height on final approach to Hiroshima Airport in Mayara, Japan struck an instrument landing system localizer antenna, and skidded onto the runway on its tail, spinning 180 degrees before coming to a stop. Its main landing gear collapsed and the aircraft suffered damage to its left wing and left engine. No one was killed, but 27 of the 81 people on board were injured, of which one serious. The aircraft was flying from Seoul, Incheon International Airport in South Korea, on April 25, 2015, Turkish Airlines Flight 1878, operated by A320-232, TCJPE was severely damaged in a landing accident at Ataturk International Airport, Istanbul. The aircraft aborted the first hard landing, which inflicted engine and gear damage. On the second attempt at landing, the right gear collapsed and the aircraft rolled off the runway spinning 180 degrees. All on board evacuated without injury. Equals A321 equals, on March 21, 2003, Transasia Airways Flight 543 and Airbus A321 on a flight from Taipei Songshan Airport collided with a truck on the runway while landing at Tainan Airport. The 175 passengers and crew were evacuated unharmed but the two people in the truck were injured. The aircraft was severely damaged and was written off. On July 28, 2010, Air Blue Flight 202, an Airbus A321 flying from Karachi to Islamabad, crashed in the Margara Hills, Islamabad, Pakistan. The weather was poor with low visibility. During a non-standard self-created approach below the minimum descent altitude the aircraft crashed into the ground after the captain ignored 21 cockpit warnings to pull up. 146 passengers and six crew were on board the aircraft. There were no survivors. The commander, Pervis Iqbal Chaudhry, was one of Air Baloo's most senior pilots with more than 35 years' experience. The accident was the first fatal accident involving the A321. On November 5, 2014, Lufthansa Flight 1829, an Airbus A321 was flying from Bilbao to Munich when the aircraft, while on autopilot, lowered the nose into a descent reaching 4,000 FPM. The uncommanded pitch down was caused by two angle of attack sensors that were jammed in their positions, causing the fly-by-wire protection to believe the aircraft entered a stall while it climbed through floor 310.
the Alpha Protection activated, forcing the aircraft to pitch down, which could not be corrected even by full stick input. The crew disconnected the related air data units and were able to recover the aircraft. The event was also reported in the German press several days before the German wings crash. The German BFU reported on the incident on March 17, 2015 in a bulletin publishing the flight data recorder and pitch control data in English and German. As a result of this incident an airworthiness directive made mandatory the aircraft flight manual amended by the procedure the manufacturer had described in the FOT and the OEB and a subsequent information of flight crews prior to the next flight. EASA issued a similar airworthiness directive for the aircraft types A330-340. On October 31, 2015, Metrojet Flight 9268 an Airbus A321 belonging to a small Russian airline company called Koglamavia, crashed in the Hassana area of central Sinai, Egypt on its way from Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt to St. Petersburg, Russia. There were 224 people on board. No one survived. The flight disappeared from radar 23 minutes after takeoff. ADSBY tracking of the A321 board flight sensors by flight radar 24 indicates that the flight was at 31,000 feet before a rapid descent. Newer reports say it broke up in mid-air, and that ISIL has claimed that it brought down the aircraft. This crash is the deadliest involving the A320 family. See also, Airbus. References <laughs>